It's the 15th of August. You gonna get started? Mm hmm Hey, who are you? I'm new. I thought so. I didn't think I'd ever seen you before. No, you haven't, Chief. Should maybe wear your glasses. Alright, I'm going to get stuff ready for you. I'm preparing the nation for you. Do not turn the power off. A new villager is moving to the nation today. I had to. I had to. I felt like... We're gonna do that. Now. Right away. Um, mind if I sit here? It's more fun traveling in pairs or so they say, right? I promise I'm not crazy. Yeah, sure. Do that, Rover. Thanks again. I sh uh, it sure is nice meeting friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? My name is... So, Danatu from Danilo finally decided to move over to the nation. Danatu liked it really over there and now she's here. Now that is an old name. No, not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like the name Danatu? Isn't it cute? You're right, of course. What was I thinking? I think it's a very cute name for a very cute girl. I am, I'm sorry, it sounded funny, honestly. I forgive you. You know, I was behind you in line when you bought your ticket. Now I wasn't eavesdropping per se, but I think I heard you going to donation. Are you done or two? It's weird because I met someone else who was going to donation not too long ago. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Who was that again? Wait, wait for it. Ah, oh, yes, Dana, I believe. So tell me, Dana, too, why are you going to donation? Um, I'm moving. Oh, ah, you're moving. Moving's always an adventure. Say, so do you know where you're going to be living? Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe you could ask Tom about it. Not you too, Dana, too. Dana was the same way. What's with you people anyway? Yeah, <laughs> Well, then, too, it looks like we will have to find you a place to live. It's no trouble. A friend of mine happens to run the shop down there in the nation. Let me talk to him for you. I will give him a ring real quick. Wait right here. So nice of Rover. Yeah, Dana, too, really enjoyed the nation over Danilo. And now she's moving over here. Yeah, 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 uh, 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 uh. Mm hmm we're gonna... Rover is smelling the money already. Let's skip through that here a bit. Okay, I'm back. Miss me? Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, then you will be just fine. Wow, a brand new house. Nothing like it in the world. Maybe I will move in too. Oh, looks like we're about to pull into the nation. Man, I love this place. Anyway, maybe we will run into each other again sometime. Goodbye and good luck. Alright. Goodbye. Actually, that looks a lot more like me. With the blue eyes instead of the dark eyes. The nation now arriving at the nation. Welcome to the nation. Watch your step. Eek, eek. And here we are now. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you there? Yes, you. Would your name happen to be Donna, too? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you, huh? You, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. But I remember, my name is Tom Nuke. I uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes. Something strikes me as odd, though. My young friend moving to a town before. Settling on a place to live. Why, it's the craziest thing I have ever heard of. Madness. Absolute madness, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh. Well, uh, um, 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 pardon me. I beg you. That just struck my funny bone. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. It should more than suit your needs. I can show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. We're just gonna take in the other house on the other side. 
here on uh, you know on the left here we are not too shabby hmm? i can most heartily recommend any of these houses take your pick feel free to take a look inside really i don't mind not in the late in the least after all the doors don't have any locks just stand in front of the door and press the a button to go inside Please bear in mind that it's a little, how you say, cozy, hmm? Yes, cozy. Alright. I like cozy. Looks great. We take it. Well, what do you think? How was it? I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want? He is good. Very well, it's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Donna, too. What a happy day for you. I'm certain. I will tell you what... I will even throw in the radio and there at no extra charge. I never could sell a thing at the shop. Now let me see, I suppose we'd like a quick rundown of your house, so listen carefully please. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite bare, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you will have to get on your own. Obviously, obviously you can expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff, but don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. <laughs> Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. You will probably want to pop into neighbor house neighbors' houses to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes, that weird thing over by the door there. That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them. Mm -hmm. It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to folks. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. For that is the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, it will be like everything you did that day never ha even happened. I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I'd hate to see sh such a thing happen. And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget any anything. Did you get all that? Uh, I, I did. Yes, well, I'm sure you will settle into the particulars of life in due time. Don't worry. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, the house comes to 9,800 bells. Here's my thousand. Yes, that would be not nearly enough. You only have 1,000 bells? You're joking with me, yes? Why are you so short? I can't help but laugh. Whoa. You know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I tell you, they can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm. A thorny situation. Yes, rather thorny. Then here's what we will do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, that's acceptable. Splendid. We're all sand. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come by my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre A1. You can't miss it. At least most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station. I'm heading back there now, so I'll be, I will be waiting for you. I'd ask you to be quick about coming, yeah? Well, we have our house. Time to work for Tom then. Definitely my least favorite part of the game, especially that we um, could just put some peaches, some apples into our inventory and have that paid off in no time. Ah, I'm scared of having to say hello to all the residents though. Well, finally you arrived. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show... Only kidding. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done. That's better, yes. You look like you were born to wear that uniform. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bells you owe on your house. First of all, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is too dull, not charming at all. What do you mean? It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience, huh? People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept, so I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me yes. Uh... Do I have to do it around the shop, though? Blue Cosmos, White Pansy, Blue Cosmos, White Cosmos, Yellow Pansy, Blue Cosmos, no tulips at all. Well, I guess then I'm just going to start my wall here. Oops. 
So that here. And those trees. What are we doing with the trees? Just gonna plant them here because I know they're not growing anyways. Alright. So, that is done. So, did you make it look a little nicer out there? Gave the ground some charming character. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how you chose where to plant everything. After all, I'm not the one who will get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. Now, let's just see here. That little chore was worth, oh, let's call it about 80 bells. Why generous? Yeah, mm-hmm. You just moved to Day Nation, but you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? I'm going to give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town, hmm? Go on now, and don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor too. That would show some class. Okay, that's going to be fun. I hope I can find all of them. Let's start with Goose. Ah, uh, what a great morning, do I know you? Okay. Hmm, so your name is Dana too, is it? They call me Goose, I hope you can be pals. You look like an early riser, a little exercise in the morning, never hurt anyone, right? Eunice, good morning! Hey, wait a second, do I know you? I don't, no, we haven't met. Well, I'm Eunice, are you going to stand there all day or are you going to tell me your name? Dana too? What a nice name, it has a pleasant ring to it, pleased to meet you. Is that Eunice's house? Um. Good morning. Oh my, have we met? I'm sure I'd have remembered you. What's your name? Oh, Dana too. I've heard about you. You only just moved into the nation, didn't you? Well, hi, I'm Stella. I'm sure you're still getting settled, but feel free to drop by and say hello sometime. Sure thing. Is there another one here? I hate not having a map in a situation like that here. Ace. Hey, good morning, and while I'm at it, great to meet you. Ace, smell that fresh air. They call me Ace, you are? Dana too, eh? It's a pleasure, Dana too. Okay. Murphy. Hey, who are you? I know everyone, but not you. Dana too, is it? Around here, folks call me Murphy. Good to meet you. And Sally. At least they're all in front of that door, so I think... That's on purpose. That's very nice of the game. Oh, hi there. Good morning. I'm Sally. I must say meeting someone new first thing in the morning is quite a pleasant surprise. You look like a nice sword. Feel free to come chat whenever you like. I might. Chief. Do you have to be so loud with the stomping around and the shouting and yelling? Seriously? Whoa. Who the heck do you think you are? Oh, Dana too. Me? I'm Chief. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to meet you. There, there. Are we done here? You're throwing off my day. All right, already. I will be your friend. Just don't beg, okay? It's embarrassing. He doesn't seem to be very nice to me. Oh, good morning. Is this the first time our paths have crossed? It is. You can call me Porsche. I'm pleased to make your acqu acquaintance. So I don't need to talk to Compa or Booker. Ah, good morning. So, what brings you here so early? I've got it. You want an autograph, don't you? Oh, my adoring fans. Rara. It's okay. You can be honest with me. I can keep a secret. So, what's the name of my number one fan? Dana too, huh? Okay, I've got it. Feel free to come see me anytime. So, let me see. Who is in units? We have Stella. We have Pom Pom. We have Murphy and Ace. We have Chief. And we have Portia. So, four here, and then Mallory and Pudge. Uh, yeah, that was definitely something I wasn't looking forward to. That wasn't something I was looking forward to. 
Okay, let's start with Horn Spy. Yeah, I'm not really a morning person. You seem happy though. I'm just babbling, don't mind me. No one ever does. Have we met before, Schnozzle? I'm Horns, but I'm sure I will be seeing you around. I need to still talk to the mayor as well. Oh no. Oh yeah, come out, Pearl. You need an invitation, huh? Ouch, could you not raise your voice so early in the morning? What's your damage, kitten? Oh, you wanted to be friends? You're done it too, right? You look like you could use a friend like me. I'm Pearl, I will be seeing you. Ugh. Hello, someone home? Oh, good morning. What brings you here so early in the morning? I know, you followed me here from Danilo, didn't you? Maybe I did. By the way, what's your name? Dana too, huh? Okay, I've got it. See her around. That dog knows. That dog knows. Oh, good morning. What could you want from me so early in the morning? I was Shago. I see you're another one of my fans, aren't you, Quackle? It's a chore being so damn popular. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Why do we have three dogs that all believe that they are famous? Uh, so what's your name? Anna too. For real? That's an okay name, I guess. I will let you be my friend. Thank you. It's nice of you. No, I think I think we have four ducks. We have Pom Pom, we have Mallory, we have Rackles, and we have PD. What was it PD? Well good morning to you too. I may be wrong, but isn't this the first time that we've met? My name is Mallory, it's been nice meeting you. We have four why are we why are we why are we having all the ducks? Oh morning. I think this is maybe the first time we've spoken. I live here in the nation. My name's Patch. How about you? What's your handle? Lena too. Did I pronounce that right? Because I've been known to screw up names big time. I might forget it, but it's nothing personal. I'm just real bad with names. Okay, and last but not least... Tortimer. Down by the wishing well. Who are you, you whisper snapper? Tell me something. Who do you respect the most? Grandpa. Always grandpa. Well, now have my wizened old looks inspired respect. You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Tell me, what's your name, Dana? Too well, that's nice. It's different. Your parents must be proud. My name is Tordema. I happen to be the mayor here in the nation. Yep, quite the big job. You seem like a decent sword when whenever there's a holiday or an event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. I surely will. Ha ha. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. Indeed. So, Reckles does know though where we are from. That we followed that dagger all the way from Danilo to the nation. But uh, that should be all of them. That should finally be all of them. Am I able to... Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. But obviously, I'm not able to grab anything here. Alright. Well. Let's return to Tom then. Um, I still think we need to run a couple of errands. Like, a bunch. A bunch of them. <sighs> I can't wait until that is over, though. So did you meet everybody in town? Quite a motley crew, yes, but variety is the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in the nation, you will never fit in, you understand? But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Hmm? Now then, what shall I have? You do next. Deliver furniture. At last, it's like you're actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Pearl and Egg receive five. Why Pearl though? And don't stop to sniff the roses on the on the way. Go straight there and then come straight back. Hmm. Why goddamn Pearl? Why and all of the animals in town? Why Pearl? I don't want to bring Pearl furniture. I. <laughs> she is the worst. 
she's by far the worst. She was here. Oh, Donna, so you can't get enough of me. Hmm. But let's get right to the point. What can I do? Take your goddamn delivery. Why? That's my Why Do you have it, Donna, too? Are you working for Tom? Oh, you are. How amusing. You mean to tell me you didn't have enough money to buy a house when you moved? Ah ha ha, T. Well, how silly. Were you the mental runt of the little one? Oh, I'm just having a little fun with you. I suppose everyone has to take a bold step once in their lives. You must not have any money to buy furniture. Don't be ashamed. Here, take this tape deck. Thank you, so kind of you. You simply must take it. I bet you go home to a sad little empty house every day, don't you? I may not be much. It may not be much, but beggars can't be choosers. You've got to start somewhere. Interior decorating is, is vital. Besides, this has to improve your place a little bit. Put it in your house, face it, and hold the A button. Push, pull it, rotate it, whatever you like. If you have any culture whatsoever, you will realize that decorating your house can be rather fun. So take this tape deck home and try the thing out. And by the by, you can face a dresser, radio, or whatever, and press the A button to interact with it. But remember, now don't skip work to play around in your room. You've got a job to do. I may have a job to do. Why is Freckles looking at that? Bug. Uh, I, let me still quickly check if our beloved Gulliver is at the shore. I'm not going to talk to him then. We're going to do that with the main character. With Dana. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let me see if he's even here. Although I don't know, maybe I wouldn't be able to see him right now anyways. With this character. I don't know. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So that tree is growing. That's good. Let me go back. To Tom. Oh yeah. Welcome back, Worker Bee. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job. I figure that earns you, will say, 230 bells. Not bad wages, huh? Now on to your next task. What's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, here's a map. Finally. Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing, you know, sort of a personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Porsche, who lives in an acre somewhere in row E. It's just good business, Porsche. is a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of a special sale. As so what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Dana, too, but try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Dana, too, who works for me. Yes, you can use the stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes. You will find the post office in Acre A5. Hurry back! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't like Porsche, though. Oh no, his name is Pete, not PD. Donna too. Dos. Nod. Like you oh. 
move. That's great. So we bring that to Pally then. That's a very wonderful letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mail a letter off with then. That's it, Pelly, that's in. I think a tree could technically grow here, yeah, so I will have to play that day anyways with our other character. <sighs> oh well, okay, let's head back to Tom. We're gonna finish what we started here. And then we're gonna shove some money over. Or maybe, I mean, I, I think the first one we can probably get ourselves. Did you send the letter, huh? Good job, it took you longer than I'd have liked, so I will have to talk you a bit how does 130 bells sound, but I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Oh yes, well, I haven't actually prepared the next package. I need you to deliver. I'm, I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to... It would be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, yes? Just be sure to come back here after a bit, huh? Well, alright, Tom, I will take that. I'm gonna ask what those villagers want me to do. I love talking to these guys. Hello, Goose. 